Oh, you know what else you should open? Um, huh? Do you want to open the Patreon, the images? Yeah, 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 I got it. Awesome. All right. I think we are up and running. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hello, Dark Horse. Hello! And happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I'm not wearing green. Well, yeah, there there's are. a tiny bit of green where the yellow and blue overlap on my sweatshirt. Yeah. But let me tell you but this. David is ready. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm wearing green. But uh, more importantly, uh, we have something to celebrate here in the United States. And uh, I brought out a dark chocolate espresso baton uh, to help celebrate. It's not, uh, you know, fully done yet. But uh, the U.S. Congress just unanimously passed a bill that would end daylight savings permanently, or rather, it would make daylight savings permanent, and so we would be doing away with standard time. Uh, now, everybody in America doesn't want this. We don't want switching clocks. Most people want daylight savings time to be permanent. Some people want standard time to be permanent. A small minority a small but rowdy minority of people want uh, standard time to be permanent. But, of course, that is not to be. Uh, it's going to be daylight time, which means that it will be brighter later, which means that parties will be happening all year round. I'm very excited about that. And also, it won't be bright in the morning, so you'll be able to sleep. It'll be wonderful. Anyway, but uh, oh, there was I, a... I, I like standard time better. And so I am always excited when in the fall we get to fall back and we get to have earlier evenings. I like I like my short winter days. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh. anyway, it's very cozy to me. And indeed, Bib. Happy belated Ides of March. <laughs> but the reason that this is important, especially to uh, those of you outside the United States, uh, assuming that this moves forward as planned, uh, for some of you it will have seemed that we started an hour earlier. Um, if this moves forward as planned, this is going to be the permanent time for Lang Time Studio moving forward. So uh, I guess uh, mark your calendars and... Uh, get used to that and hopefully it won't be, you know, like uh, a bummer for uh, for those of you who prefer the other time. Just reacting to, to Kay, not to you being excited about this, this whole daylight time potentially being permanent. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Um, all right, so while well, David Oh yeah, I'm celebrating. He noisily opens his dark chocolate espresso. Oh my gosh, don't. <laughs> he held that up to the microphone just to be. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, it's like Toblerone shaped, mm. but miniature. Mm. Okay. Mm. Filled um, with espresso. You want um, a nibble? I'm good, thank you. Mm. Um, okay, so we had a poll um, where we needed to decide how we're going to deal with these, um, you know, the suffixes specifically here where we have assimilating and dissimilating tone, which means it's not always going to be, you know, the same. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, we drew out some examples here and where is the mouse? Way over there. Can mm -hmm. you scroll down a little bit? Yeah. How do you want me to do it? Um, well, I just do you wanted, want me to go like option one? Yeah, just to show like, okay, right. so. Um, I get it all on the screen, but. So the invariant spelling is just what it sounds like. Um, regardless of whether it's a high or low tone, it would be spelled the same in the orthography. And speakers would just know like, oh, this, you know, this suffix is assimilating or dissimilating and so um mm -hmm. oh it won't go in effect till 2023 what magpie you just ruined david's whole day so we're gonna have to fall back and spring ahead one more time yeah. oh oh okay 
So now that David's day has been ruined, yeah. Eat your wrap this recipe. back up. Well, it won't stay good until 2023, so celebrate now. God. Okay, so that's option one. Can you scroll down to option two, please? Mm. <laughs> now it can be your comfort food instead of celebration food. Um, all right, so the next two options are that there are going to be, you know, there would be variant spelling. So if it's high tone or low tone, it will be spelled differently. Um, but then, like, this one is a historical one. So this one, um, you know, was based on the fact that it was, you know, looking at the root. So the N and then the uh, sore versus swa um, spellings to show high and low tones. So that was more historically based. And then keep scrolling for mm. option three. Rainy days, um, based on our track record, likely yes. Yeah, in terms of how quickly we get through languages. Yeah, we'll still be doing Langtime Studio in 2023. The variant spelling ahistorical, notice that here the difference is really with the, the swa, like how we're spelling the swa. Um, because it was, you know, sur and sua versus um, what it was up above. So that's really the difference there. Um, but there are still variant spellings. Um, and so those are our three options. Our patrons voted. And uh, in last place was the historical spelling. So option two, the variant historical spelling. Hmm. Um, that was in last place by quite a bit. Um, and so with that R, the OR version was the lowest. Okay. Um, the A historical, by the way, what it really did was it made it so the vowel was the same in the two spellings. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, that made it the same. And a lot of patrons like that, which is why this came in second place. Mm. So a lot of patrons like this one, um, but just not enough. And so the winner is invariant spelling, where it's going to be up to, you know, us non-native Wokutiju speakers are going to have to struggle a little bit to remember that these particular suffixes, um, the tone is not going to match how they're written in orthography. Uh, but, you know, native speakers would just be like, oh yeah, I know how to pronounce that. Okay, now, um, one thing we do need to talk about, though, is um, both of... Of the sea pigs. <laughs> Both of these have the wrong box if we're still doing that. You know, I do my best. No, but I, I didn't know. I don't remember. So, um. <laughs> that would be great, Dark Horse. Dark Horse, a, or a whale song language that is just compilations of David Yum noises. Mmm. With different pitches. All right. <clears throat> Give me a minute. I can do a good one. You ready? No. Oh, oh God, you need to warn people to like turn your volume down because that was loud in my ear. And if any of you are listening on like headphones or something where that was channeled straight into your eardrums, I apologize on behalf of what just happened. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's on behalf of David for what just happened. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Tucky. What was that? I am made for underwater communication. My gosh. Send me right in. Oh my gosh. Mm. All right. So, so um, here, here is the point. So the box, right? Um, below the, this thing, right, with the, the codas, they were going to be in a box when it was high tone and in an open box with no bottom when it was low tone. So the question is, are we still going to do that? <laughs> it just jumped out of my skin. Right, Joseph? <laughs> oh, Jake, I am so sorry. You may not be able to hear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Um, mm. I don't remember. Did we vote on that? Make that? I'm getting my kombucha all all distributed without shaking because of course you don't want to shake kombucha well um the thing was we um uh <laughs> yes please please we had uh i had just 
came up come up with the idea early on to have this box where you write the coda in, right? Um, and I and the the whole joke was that it would be ridiculously. <laughs> yes, cupcake parade. It was. It would be ridiculously redundant, um, and so it's like the the box would tell you if it was high or low tone, and in addition to that. Uh, it would just go ahead and tell you what the consonant was. And the consonant would tell you whether it was high or low tone. So it would be redundant. Um, both of these, of course, like that syllable, if it ends in an N, it should be low tone. If it ends in an R, it should be low tone. So they should be open boxes, not closed boxes. Um, well, for some reason, I thought the closed boxes were low tone. Mm -mm. Originally, they were. Okay. But then I was like, oh no, closed is high tone. Um, because, you know, it's, it's tighter, it's closed, you know. Um, sure. And I actually have an illustration of this, if I can find it. Um, Amidst all the... Yeah, see? Okay, so I wrote the closed box is going to be low, and then the open box is going to be high, but then I put the switchy arrow. So I was like, no, 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 this makes more sense. Um, it's going to be hard for you to see this because I wrote over it, but that's where the two boxes are, and, and then the switchy arrows came later. See? Um, the, the switchy arrows always override unless they're scribbled out with a different color. Um, these are just written over with a different color, not scribbled out. So the switchy arrows are still in effect, okay? <laughs> okay. Um. So we kind of need to see what it looks like, right? But um, we, have, we have some work to do first, some work, all right? And this is the work that we need to do we need to make a V. So this isn't a V. This is just half an X, and that works for this character. That's fine. We need a V. We need a full-length V. Um, and I forget why. Um, because we have something that needs it. What page is that on? Ah, w. A w needs a full-length V. The and rabbit. Then, isn't there one that's upside down, or did we not use that one? Uh, oh, no, we, we didn't, didn't use that, that one. Uh, but we did use P. That one has the upside down V as well. Is that really a V though, or is that more of a um, elongated half X? I guess it is a no, V. No, it's a V. Because it would be way too wide. Yeah, it's a V. The and, N oh, also has a V. The S also has an upside down V. The N has a V. It was the N. That was that was what I was thinking of, of doing next. Was that N? Um, and then just to give you a little beep beep beep, a little a little sh shotsky of that. Um, all right, so uh, that's what I'm going to be uh, trying to do next, is I'm going to be making a V. Um, and so, uh, 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 Jesse Pie, what would you like to do? Well, I still need to enter a whole lot of verb definitions in the, in the glossary. Um, I also had fun last time, um, you know, we came up with a couple new words and that was exciting because that really helped with what I was going to draw. Do we need to do more for these, um, for these uh, script glyph images? What do you mean more? Like have we come up with a word for all of the ones with check marks? Yes. Wow, really? I nice. Check marks are the ones we came up with. Have we not come up with the non check marked ones? I think so, which is a lot. Um, so it's like pine cone, grass, uh, stick or branch, whatever that is. Cherries. Now, what cherries we have? What, mm -hmm. are the, what are the check marks then? What are the check marks? I thought it was literally we were coming up with those words. So let me. Well, cherry we already yeah, had. Yeah, cherry we already had. I know, but that. Not we already had. That would have been something we didn't feel the need to. We don't have a word out. for old yet. We don't have the non checked ones. Oh, ah, how about that? All right, well, um, yeah, you can kind of go there. 
Do you want to like work in a space and then add them to the dictionary so I can yeah. put it on that space? Um, we're going to work up, um, whoop, let me, I was trying to search. Um, we're going to be working up here. Um, so to maximize the amount of space, let's do it right here. Um, in that space under the four nouns. Yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, so that way we can see where it is. Maximize how I'm going to type. That's actually pretty good. But yeah, can I actually just get a list? Um, all right, so we need, and I'm gonna double check these. Yeah. That one was stick. <clears throat> We're gonna need something starting with a- uh, Grass. Yeah, for tail. We already have- You might one. already have tail. Um, I will double, well, I'm going to check anything that I don't know for certain. We do have not. Is, not is already done. Right, because that's K, K then. Um, let's see, that's pine cone. Grass. Well, I, I already got that. Never mind. Uh, basket. Basket. And then we have, we already have owl. We already have owl. Um, we already have a word for snail. Okay. Um, tea is going to be something. Flower or rose. So I think I did a rose specifically there. Rabbit. Um. <laughs> Wabbit. It could be that. Exactly. Was this whisker? Uh, no, that's a possum. Oh. Hold on. I'm I think, so and I think I we, think already, we already, yeah, have yeah we already word. have, um. Fanu or something like that. Okay, but then we need a word for spider. And that's going to start with a TS adjective. Um, and then thorn. thorn. And web. Also, let's take a look at what the bottom of your screen is. It's uh, actually kind of perfect. Okay, good. Um, and that should get us through the rest of them. Yeah. Um, oh, and I'm going to put flowers slash rose. We so, decide when we get there. By the way, um, Dark Horse, um, I get what you're trying to do with dust and dusty. Uh, however, there are a couple of things that problematize using that for the setting. Um, number one, things get dust covered when they're old when they are unused. So there's that. But uh, also, they uh, these are mice, and they live in kind of a dusty area, maybe, and they live kind of a dusty life. Uh, so I think a lot of a lot more things would be dusty simply from dirt rather than having sat for a long time. Uh, so I don't know if they would draw the connection um, between those two things. By the way, I was also rethinking, so I know I was talking about um, northern, um, northern Europe and Scandinavia for the, the setting in this area, but out of like just, it seems to make a lot more sense if it was like northern Canada. Okay. Just out of more I mean, it's familiarity. A, it's another place that would survive, you know, if there was, you know, massive global warming, right? Because it's still pretty far north, right? Mm -hmm. But at least we wouldn't have to explain how American possums made it over to Europe, uh, you know, aside from zoos. And I assume that like... It's probably not a hot ticket item for European zoos. Look at this, the American opossum. It probably is not a thing they do, huh? I thought it was the American possum and the Australian opossum. I thought we... I swear we looked this up. No, they're both opossum. Okay, opossum versus possum. Oh, it... Scientific opossum is preferred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, further north than Nova Scotia. Like, I mean, really far north. Oh, and I had it backwards. Possum without the O is when people distinguish those in Australia. Really, Jake? You've never seen an opossum? You've never gone to the zoo? 
where they say, ah, oh, look, look, look here, he's an American opossum. That's because uh, Michael Caine is giving you a personal tour of the zoo. <laughs> a lot of people don't know a lot of things about opossums. No, that was, no, that wasn't, that was more, you know who that was? That was, um, what's his face from the office doing a British accent? <laughs> Nard Dog. Oh my gosh, that was. Yeah. Andy is his other name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So while David is having fun doing accents with possums, mm -hmm. I am double checking to make sure we don't have okay. entries for these. Um, so that way we don't, you know, accidentally create the same word again. I already checked pine cone. Um, so we didn't have too much luck with this last time, but I'll ask anyway, if anybody can math this out, what's the angle I need to turn this thing to so that it, uh, this thing is in the corner right here and it hits the middle. I mean, it's not 45 degrees, 45 degrees would be out here. So it's less than that. Side note, we already have a word for flower, so rose it shall be. Right on. <laughs> all right. Cool. Now the cool thing about all these is we know what the protoforms need to start with for these words that I'm looking at. I realize David asked you a question. Um, yeah. So maybe I should let you, you no, get your fine. answer first. I'm, I'm looking at it. I mean, yeah, 30 is as good a guess as any, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so we need 10 new nouns for the shapes. Um, but the, the good thing is we already have the initial consonant for the protoforms. And so essentially, as long as we don't copy a protoform that we already have, um, we will be set. And so I am taking nominations. Um, Why is it doing that? Oh, Jake, the protoform would need to start with a T. So not the modern form coming out as a T, but the, the protoform actually starting with a T. Um. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Okay. Sorry. This is super exciting. Um, it's actually, if you, if you do it right here on the baseline, it'll tip it and then you can see, and it shows up in the in the corner. So what we need to actually do is we need to increase this to 1500. Let's see if it'll just do my bidding. Yes. Okay. We need to increase it to 1500 and we can actually look at it in this little window. <gasps> I think that's going to be it. Okay. So 30 looks like it might be a smidge too much. Let's try 27. Now, as you're doing that, we're going to yeah. start with stick. Um, I would like a two syllable root for stick. Um, and we have, um, you know, we're kind of all over the board already. So let's, let's get some disyllabic forms for stick going on. Um, I'll, I'll put that down for a suggestion for a rose. Okay, so um, looking at stick, what are your suggestions? Starting with an ejective K, two syllables. Go. And now I'm going to sit back and take a nap. Mm. I'm sure that kombucha will help to energize you. It actually does. Like seriously? Yeah. yeah. 
It like wakes up my insides. See, it, it provides balance and renewal. It rekindles and recharges. Do you see all that? See? What is it, a therapist? It renews, rebalances, rebuilds, reclaims, rekindles, recharges. Hmm. Okay, we're going to try this. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the logo of the New Orleans Voodoo of the uh, Arena Football League. I'm sure you're familiar. No, not at all. All right, so now I'm going to be double checking forms in Lexergy because I am tired enough today that I do not trust my ability to do these without Lexergy's help. That is pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. We're gonna round those corners, I think, but I think that's just pretty darn good. That's, I think that's gonna be RV. That's gonna be RV. Okay. And I've got five excellent suggestions that I'm loading right now as input words into Luxergy. And then I'll put the modern forms down and from there we will decide. I think that uh, Miles has just said something amazing. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we need a sponsorship from Copico, Synergy, and also Olive Garden. <laughs> because when you're here, you're family. Okay. Uh, and what did we decide here? Oh, wait, that's high tone. Rounded in. Yeah, but not there. We're going to have to try a couple of these um, <clears throat> to see uh, what we like. Both high tones. Yes. yes. And a lot. This is struggling. 150, we're going to be at 200. Two hundy. Ooh, D ribbon some kale. What are you gonna make, Jake? Are you just eating the kale like as is? I'm gonna go nuts here and do something that you would not approve of. Didn't even add a node. Didn't even add a node. That. Ooh. And then we have some fun. Good thing I was using Luxergy, man. I am. We have some fun forms to decide with. <clears throat> Oops, I obviously hit the wrong thing. You know that song, Sailing? Sailing away with me? Mm. No, no, not that one. Um, that's Orinoco Flow, no, Sailing. Mm. Sailing takes me away. Na, 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 na. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics, but uh, the, it starts off with, Fantasy, and so on. It goes on like that. We'd have our own song. Lexergy. Ooh, that's where you're going with it. I yep. was like, what? I don't... Is it Christopher Cross? I think he was the one that mm. did this song. Uh, somebody somebody in the comments can back me up. Magpie, <laughs> I'm not sure you miss very much. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you really want Olive Garden, go for it. So here's the, here's I, the thing. I just feel... Yes, Logan, yes. It's about as Italian as Taco Bell is Mexican. That is, yes. Here's the saga of Olive Garden. When Olive Garden first came out, and you tell me if this jives with your experience as well, it was like, ooh, what is this fancy new Italian restaurant? It was like high class, like you dress up to go to Olive Garden. That was the case when it first came out. Was that your experience? The only reason I would have gone to an Olive Garden was for a special occasion. So like, yeah, I because the closest Olive Garden to me was an hour and a half away. Right, because you were still at right when it came out. Yeah, because this was like what was it the late eighties or the nineties? But like people would go to Olive Garden for prom. Yeah, because it was like yeah, it was like the fanciest place. Uh, like that was like new, right? So then, um, that was its reputation for many that years. That people could still afford. That many years, for many years, right. 
And then, like, uh, they, I think it all started with their soup, salad, and breadsticks thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where you just pay a flat amount and you get as much soup or salad or breadsticks as you want. By the way, their soup is amazing. Um, and then it's like, eventually their breadsticks became a meme. And then, like, I guess because people started going for that, uh, I don't know, it just became a thing where it's like, oh, that's just a place you go if you don't want to spend too much money and you want it to be kind mm -hmm. of fancy. And so then... Olive Garden came to be known as, basically, as Logan put it, the, the Taco Bell of Italian food. And so now it's just like this, you know, restaurant that's very fancy looking on the inside and, you know, is supposed to be theoretically very fancy, but it's just like now an American institution. It's like almost, almost like Nando's, I guess. Uh, two things. Um... One, I don't know what Nando's is. Oh, wait, Cheeky Nando's, yes. Yeah. Um, Silvertail, yes. Uh, when you get to this point in the stream where we just uh, read your comment, <laughs> that whale sound or something. <laughs> um, and Dark Horse, yes, I agree. I like Fazoli's better than Olive Garden. I, I'm going to lay it down there as potentially a contentious opinion. Not for but... me. Not for me. I don't, I don't think that we have Fazoli's here. Oh. Um, Really? Yeah, I don't think so, but um, no, I'm 100% down with Olive Garden, and I will tell you why. When I go there now, all I do is order soup. Like, it's the soup, salad, and breadsticks, but I don't eat any breadsticks. They're just carbs. I don't eat any salad, because what's the point? Um, it's just water. It's just crunchy water. That's what salad is, crunchy water. I want you to get that, and I certainly do not like salad dressing. Their soups are so good. The two of them in particular, there's the uh, uh, potato gnocchi, like the dumpling one, and then there is the, um, the sausage one out of this um, world, out of this I world. I will say I have not eaten at an Olive Garden in probably 15 years. Wow. Um, they, side note for anybody who is vegan, like Olive Garden legit on their website is just like, yeah, we don't, we don't do vegan. Uh, <laughs> and so if you're vegan, um, not a good place to go because even their salad dressing has um, egg and um, dairy in it. And so it's like, you can't even get the salad um, yeah. with the dressing. And if you don't have the dressing on their salad, literally their salads are just a plate of lettuce. And like, sometimes mm -hmm. you're in the mood for a plate of lettuce, but... You know, I would rather not pay a restaurant restaurant fees for a plate of lettuce when I could go home and eat an entire head of lettuce for where, you know, pennies to the dollar. Anyway, um, all that is to say. Yeah, actually a lot of Italian dressings are not only not vegan, they're not vegetarian. Um, they will have fish in them. Right, like some sort of know. anchovy or yeah. something, yeah. Um, okay, so... We have these wonderful suggestions. Dark Horse, I'm gonna put your suggestion in the save file, but I did want two syllable um, just because I did. And so I will remember the ka, low tone um, oh boy. for future. All right, so of these forms, David, I'm gonna have you vote on your top two or three out of five. Okay. And then I'm going to put it to a poll. We're going to have all sorts of polls today. Because I'm going to let people vote on their favorites once we narrow it down. Okay. I am in the meantime. I don't know if anybody's watching what I'm doing, but I am deeply troubled by what's happening. Oh, because these are different sizes. That's right. That's right. These are different sizes. Okay. Hold on a sec. Okay, so, uh, shoot, I'm, 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 I'm not mathing right. Basically, this is at 23 when it should be at zero. So like the distance between the zero here and this is 550. The difference between this and this should be 550 minus 23. So what's 550 minus 23? It's one, two, three, one, two. There we go. And hopefully, these should be the same distance apart. But Five, I thought it was supposed to be 550 minus. Uh, but I did it this way. 
Oh. Trust me, I, I, I did the okay. right thing. I okay. did the right thing. I did the right thing. Um, so this is 925 to 950. That's 25. This is 574 to 550, which is 24. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, okay, okay. So now uh, on to your thing. Okay, remind... Mind you, all of these are ejective Ks, so don't judge me for how unejective they sound. And you know that I absolutely am going to judge you, right? Anyway. <laughs> um, all right, so. Got to with ejective K and T. Got to high tone, high tone, E at the end. Uh, That's one form. K to kiche. Go go and qua Your favorite three. Go. I'm still trying. I'm still I'm still judging you. Give me a minute. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. No, I'm gonna put it at the top of the screen so that way I can have this right below it. Um Let me make sure they're they're all on screen, right? I just wanna double check here. Yeah, they're all on screen. Yeah. Okay. So, um, kat, uh, or katu, that's definitely a good one. So that one's a keeper. That's one. Um, By the way, I will put all of these in a save list. So like none of these roots will go to waste. We will eventually do something with them. Right. It's just they won't mean stick. Excuse me. Uh, kati, that's that. It's uh, I didn't see the double. Uh, so kati is one. Uh, kwapi. I'm sorry, kwapi is another. Right, that's a good one. Yeah, okay, so that's two. And then for three, um... I got torn. Let's go with keto diet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, keto. All right, keto. so those are going to be our three forms that I am now going to pull you on. So uh, let me tell you about uh, sandwiches. Um, uh, several years back, I was introduced to uh, Witch Witch, which absolutely blew Subway out of the water. Um, and, you know, the Subway was another one. The same kind of thing happened to Subway as happened to uh, Olive Garden. Like Subway was like, oh, that was a fancy place you go for, for sandwiches. Um, and then they had was the $5 that? foot long thing, which was before, let me tell you, when I was in college, this was amazing. Three foot longs for $8.99. Three. Three foot longs for $8.99. Um, you liked that better than kiche or kokwa? For stick. I, I'm okay. not saying those okay. forms okay. aren't good, but just for stick. Um, absolutely incredible. Three foot longs for eight ninety nine. I made a lot of use of that. It would be the type of thing where my, my girlfriend and I, at the time, um, this is the one that, by the way, if you're keeping track, that Meg Davy was named after. We would get each get a, a, a Subway sandwich for ourselves, and then we would get one that we would split the next day that we would just put in the fridge. I mean, eight ninety nine. It was a ridiculous deal. And then, of course, uh, Subway fell on hard times, and people turned against it. And now people are like, "Ew, Subway!" Uh, crazy how that happened. Um, and I I want to know when it was a fancy place. Um, this would be like the 80s. Oh. Okay. Like, uh, you didn't always get to go to Subway because it was like super expensive. Um, yeah. My introduction to Subway was in like 1998. Wow. And so for me, it's always been fast food sandwich place. That subway that's in the shopping center uh, at Chapman and Knott has been there ever since I have been here in Garden Grove. Same for the subway that's next to the Target over off Knott and Catella. Like, they've just been there the entire time. Wow, so. Yeah. Um. I, by the way, I worked in a sandwich shop. That was my first job. It was, ironically, across the street from that subway, the place called Togo's. It's a California chain. Never again. That was the worst job that anybody has ever had. They hire anybody because people are getting fired and quitting every single day. The people that were working there when I started working there weren't the same as when I quit, which was three months later. 
That's how much turnover there was. You lasted three months? Three months. I thought you lasted like a week. No, three months at Togo's. I stayed three months at Togo's. And when I told them I was quitting, uh, my manager said, Oh, that's, I'm so sorry. We were just going to offer you a five cent raise. That was their, that was their incentive. And by the way, in terms of free stuff, on your first day working, they gave you a free half sandwich. And that was it. You never got anything free after that. And also, it, I wasn't even hungry on my first day, so I was like, can I save it? They're like, no, it's got to be, it's got to be now. Terrible. Anyway. All right, so. We'll I'm talk about which witch later. Going to end the poll, because it looks like we have more votes. Um here so oh and now Minnie's here so we can really start the episode all right so our word for stick is um i'm not even going to try to do adjectives because you judge me when i try so kwapu kwapi it's a what just taking a stick and giving somebody the old kwapi oh my gosh yes um uh, there we go. Okay. Um, and many, since you're just joining us, you will want to make sure you catch up on the beginning of the episode where David makes a dying whale sound. I can do it again. No, no, we, we <laughs> don't need that. Okay. Okay, Jesse. Um, I've got a headache. Mm. Yes. Uh, take a look at these two. Tell me what you think. Digging the one on the right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh boy. So potbelly sandwich. Um, I had that for the first time in an airport somewhere in the middle of the country. Best sandwich I've ever had. We don't have them here in California, or at least not in Southern California. Extraordinary. Absolutely love potbelly. Very good. Which which though is an excellent alternative. One of the best sandwiches I've ever had that you can just, you know, build yourself. Really, really good. You can add all this different stuff. Love Witch Witch. Uh, when I moved back to West Garden Grove, uh, I was disappointed because we were moving away from a Witch Witch that was within walking distance. And then they opened one up on the corner of Catella in Valley View. And that was great for a time. And then one day, go to Witch Witch. Go to the store, like it looks like it's open and everything. I go to the door, the door doesn't open, and then I see a sign on the front that says the place has been um, closed down. And there's a notice on there that says, that essentially, please don't break in and steal the stuff. It belongs to somebody else. Like, literally overnight, somebody came and shut it down. Uh, and everything inside was still there. Like, I have no idea how the person who owned that branch of it screwed it up so badly that that happened. Very disappointing. Okay, so Chariot thinks they're at slightly different angles. Huh? What? Read Chariot's comment. The two arms. Hello, Kevin Nope, Cor. they're not supposed to be at slightly different angles, and they're not. They're both at 25 degrees. And you can verify that. 25 degrees, serif that 25 degrees, 25 degrees, kind of throws off our perception. Yep. It's, uh, and remember that the serifs are not, uh, str are not the same, right? The serifs are not the same. Um, <clears throat> because, um, these are the serifs we're working with. Remember they're at an angle. So yeah. Uh, the, but yeah, these things, even though it looks like it, they are actually at the same angle. Um, there is something that we could do about that. I didn't want to, but wait, hold on a sec. <gasps> oh, never mind. Shoot. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I did it wrong. I mean, there are still witch witches, so it's like it's not like it was nationwide that it happened everywhere, but apparently that oh, no. happened no. to a lot of them. It did? I don't know. Somebody said that happened. Silvertail said the same thing happened to the witch witch near them. Whoa. I just assumed it was a crazy one-off thing. 
Um, okay, what, what, what Chariot has pointed out though is that the, the serifs were offset for this one, but they're actually not offset for the X, which meant that I flipped this around before I rotated it. So I'm gonna need to do the, um, the V's over. Uh, apologies, um, and it looks like not even this one is uh, correct, so I'm gonna need to, um, sorry about that. All right, so, so um, we're gonna move on to tail, which needs to start with a protoform J, which of course will be a Y, right, in modern form. Um, question, do we want the modern yeah. form to still be Y? Because if so, we don't want it to be followed by an E or A sound, because it'll be J in the modern form. Like our word for tail. Do we want to maintain the Y connection? No. Be anything? No. Mm -hmm. No, it should be a J in the modern. It could be. It may not be. It may be a Y. Yeah, no, I, I think that... you. I think... Um, Making it even more different is, is even better because then it'll be it'll really obscure it, which is kind of fun But here's what I will say based on what we have in the dictionary if we go with a Front Vowel start like some sort of E or um, a sound It needs to be two syllable because most of our one syllable kind of E and a sounds are already Taken we have a lot of Joe words we yeah. only have two ya words. Okay. But um, we've got like a million ja words, partially because all of our WH pronouns are ja. Yeah, and be sure that it doesn't um, be sure that it doesn't um, sound like nose. Right, which is j. What the? I think. How did that happen? How did that happen? I think I know how that happened. I think I know how that happened. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I need it. oh, whoops, oh boy, hold on. All right, so whisker and nose both start with je. We're gonna have like a body part thing where it's like, oh, if it's a body part, it starts with je. It's gonna be like a, uh, like a folk etymology. Yeah, oh, that'll be good. Anyway. Um, so give me some forms you're interested in, um, for tail, um, and we'll see where they go and see some favorite forms. Uh, remember we can have diphthongs and so feel free to play around with diphthongs. Um, and freaking fix it at all. Yeah. We'll go from there. Oh my God. God. Hold on a sec. David is losing his mind over here. That one's wrong. I, I, I think. We have a proto W, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. I very suddenly was like, wait. That one's, this one's wrong. Wait. Okay, okay, all right. I'm gonna try to fix this. Mm -hmm. Where's the, the glyph window? I don't know. It's not under windows and tabs? There it is. Oh. Also, um, remember ID4? Like, so like they weren't gonna do anything with the whole like Roswell, New Mexico, unless this guy that was on Air Force One randomly mentioned it. Like they weren't just gonna go there. Like. If he just hadn't brought up the aliens, they, they wouldn't have been there? Like, that was the big finale of the movie. That is, what on earth? Like, what on earth? That, that bothers me. Okay, this is, this is not. Sometimes there's, there's a caching issue. So I'm gonna do the Frank. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Miles. Sailing to your way. 
All there we right. Go. I have there we go. five solid forms to work with. I know why that happened. I know why that happened. Okay, there we go. So now the um, serifs are the same, which again, they should be because that's what we did with the X. Now, the only thing I don't know, did I twist the right one? Because if not, yeah, the long one is on the left. The long one is on the left, the short one is on the right. So um, that is correct. That is correct, okay. Okay, there we go. So um, these are all going to get put in yellow. Yellow means old. Uh, I keep them in the font because the font's got scads of space. Um, and so there's no reason to get rid of them. Uh, but I just put them in yellow to know that we are not really using them. Okay. I have some suggestions for you. Okay. We okay. have, just a second, I can do this. Nyanyi. Okay. Yita. Mm -hmm. That should be a Y there, sorry. Ah, there we go. Jola, Jamie, Jeka. This is for tail. How many do I choose? Three again. I feel like three is a good thing to vote between. Okay. Uh, Yanni, love that one. Mm-hmm. Yita, love that one. Jamie. Mm -hmm. Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Those are the three. We'll save the other forms. <laughs> um. Oh man, I missed Dark Horse's Seraph McLaughlin joke. Oh man, or is it McLaughlin? Did she say McLaughlin? Oh wait, I'm not supposed to touch that. Forgot. And you're not, so I right. will. I will find it. Glyph window is my new Apex. Oh hey, so I got a, a story about Apex Twin. All right. <laughs> In the arms of an angle, ah. Seraph McLaughlin. Ah. Yes! God, that's brilliant. Wow. Okay. Okay, so my Aphex Twin story is this, as uh, Jesse makes the poll. So um, I had this Aphex Twin album for a long time in college, um, and it was just like, ah, whatever. Um, and so uh, I listened to a bunch of them. One of the songs I happen to like was named Alberto Balsam. And so um, many years later, fast forward, and I stayed for one night with uh, Cy and Alex Fink in London because I was presenting at SOAS. Uh, where uh, Lauren Gown, by the way, had, had brought me there to present. Um, and uh, so I stayed at, at Cy and Alex's, and the next day when I was showering, uh, there was a shampoo there, um, and it was like, Alberto Balsam, that's funny, where have I heard that before? Anyway, I used it, uh, it was the raspberry, which ordinarily I'm not a fan of, and it was the best shampoo I have ever had in my entire life. So good! that I found it online and bought myself one, even though it was pomegranate, not um, raspberry. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me why the name was so familiar. And then it was like, oh my God, it's the Aphex Twin song. So they have a song about a shampoo, I guess. Anyway, it was Greek. All right, new poll, word for tail. And again, Anything that doesn't win in these, I will be uh, keeping in a list because we have some really great forms going here. Peter Ott. <laughs> okay, so we got this V, so that's good. I'm gonna keep that just in case we need it. You know what, we should also see if it's still gonna be. Okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one too, just in case we need it, um, yeah. All right, there, that, now that'll, now those lines will be there. Those are 25 degree lines. Um, and so I have to redo this. Bibler Reading had dinner with Cy and Alex last week. Last week? Hey, were you at um, uh, Bibler Ridgen? Were you at the Nottingham thing? Uh, what, what was it called? Reading Fictional Languages? Yes. 
were you at that? Like in person, did people actually see you? Because uh, I assume that nobody can actually be in your physical presence, uh, that you wouldn't allow it, that you'd have to go with, through a series of, you know, assistants. And even then, at the end, like, they would, you know, sit you down in a room and set a television screen in front of you. And that would still be the most that uh, you could expect from your Biblerigin Bibl experience. As you're waiting for that, I'm going to end the poll. We have All right. votes. <gasps> Bib was. Oh, That's my funny. goodness. Did you see us present? That's embarrassing. I didn't know you were there. I would have done something different. I would have fixed your hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh our new, my goodness. Our new word is Jamie for tail. Okay, what's 550 minus 23? 25, 527. 527. Oh, other way. Here we go. Let me look at the in roots and see where we are here. Oh, we got a lot of in words. Okay. That's 24, and that's <gasps> 24, they match! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I feel like that's an evil laugh. No, it was an excited laugh. All right, as long as the form isn't just me, because we already have two knees that come from completely different sources. So as long as the modern form isn't knee, the N is pretty open. Primarily because we have a lot of in entries, but they reflect the fact that we have, um, you know, three different nasals that end up becoming spelled with an N. And so as a reminder, the protoform for grass needs to start with an actual N, an alveolar N, not an angma or an inye, because mm -hmm. those are completely different letter shapes, and we already have words for those. Um, and so we do need a protoform for grass. And again, the only form that I'm going to be like, no, two is a high tone knee by itself because we already got two of those. And let's get some variety, you know? Um, otherwise, the only other word we have is nata, um, meaning water. So N is pretty wide open. So uh, Bip Lorigen says that he happened to be in the neighborhood. Um, and... I thought that you lived on an island by yourself. In a lighthouse, right? Like, um, like, uh, who's it? Um, Tova Janssen. Um, that was my impression. At least on a cosmic scale. Oh, that's funny. Okay, 30. There we go. So it's 173. And so... Woo! There we go. There's our new V. Oh my gosh. I realized too. Okay. Those should be upside down bars. And that needed to be an R. Oof. Grouse mm -hmm. is New Zealand Australian slang for excellent. I did not know that. Can you read me what Zachary says? Is that I R N -U? near new? You, you can't read that. No, it's all of it runs together. So all I saw was like. Do you need new glasses? Yeah. Um, how would you How would you be for an optometry appointment in May? Hmm, let me see. I don't... Could you survive that long? Yeah. I okay. Mean, I'm doing just fine, except for the fact that I need you to read things sometimes. little box is hard to see. All right, I have enough forms for grass to start with. Thank you. Um, I'm going to plug that's, them into Luxergy. That's what I'm doing right now is grass. Oh, that's exciting. We will have a word for this. Yeah. Grass I is going to be right um, here. Well, have you
Have you not noticed then that like in the past, um, especially during live streams, because I don't have something close to me, um, have you not noticed that I've had to do this to like read? I pay very little attention to you. La <laughs> uh <-huh>, uh -huh. <laughs> my own fault for asking a have you not noticed question <laughs> should never start a question like that <laughs> the answer is going to be what exactly many exactly i can see everything except for the things i can't that uh -huh. needs to be a quote board right there <laughs> okay allow me to look closely at my forms here just increase the font huh? Okay, so uh, the exciting thing is that now that we have a V, we can do our last vowels. So I'm going to move these. Ooh, this one's kind of a fun way it turned out. Whoops. And... Beep. Eh! Uh, the Langtime Lexergy link is lexergy.com slash LTS. <laughs> oh, that came from an S. I was like, wait, how did that end up being? Okay, David. Yeah. I have six for you to, to judge. Okay. <clears throat> we have, this is for grass. Name, neku, nani. Nime, Nitsi, and Nate. Okay, yeah, the, the, a couple of these jump out to me immediately, and that is uh, Neme, Nani, and Nime. Nene, let me get rid of this one. And by get rid of it, I mean just put it up above. Because of the other conlang stream today. And Nime was the other one, right? Yeah. What okay. other conlang stream? There can be no other conlang stream. Who on earth is Colin Gory? Nime. Nime. Okay, so hole for grass is being created right now. This is otherwise known as the day of the poles. Okay, now just borrow this for a second. So we're gonna make a Oh my god! Nobody has said who on earth Colin yeah. Gory is yet. What on earth is this? Who is this? Um. Arizona. Nah. And somebody was charging money for this? There's a newsletter? Oh yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. I discovered that it takes very little to go from I'm just starting this to expert in the world of conlangy. fan there. Neme, Nani, and Nime. Oh, and Dark Horse. I'm excited to see what you come up with. <laughs> Logan says Colin likes my typology paper references. Oh gosh, this is another one of those. What's the angle? Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right, we have twenty-three. Enough votes. We're gonna end this poll, and we. I hope you come back, Minnie, or take us with you. Um, our new word for grass is nime. That's a long word, Dark Horse. We may need to, like, cut off. Maybe just make it, like, the first two syllables. Yeah. Oh, Matthias, I'm sorry to hear that you have back strain. True. Out of all the things that are wrong with my body, I am grateful that so far, knock on whatever is wood, that so far my back has held up. Because from what I understand, back problems are, mm, like, the worst. Make sure I actually, yeah, it is me. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And, then... and in case y'all are wondering, I have some of the worst knees in the world. Not the yeah. worst, just some of the worst. And I need something along this line. That looks funky. No, I, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know you're not done with it, but it just looks funky. I need it, okay, hold on. It needs to be down negative 23. Oh, God. Do you remember me telling you the other day that, um... oh, Mia. Aw. Unfortunately, Mia, has a sinus demon, um, which really sucks, and I'm so sorry to hear that. But writes, I am going to put on my sleep headphones and keep listening because I find y'all's voice soothing. Hi, Mia. I didn't even know that you watched this from time to time. Mia is a friend of mine who is a longtime conlanger who created one of the conlangs that really inspired me the most, Ea Luna early on and also mm -hmm. for Mia's sake no more dying whale sounds for the rest of the stream okay um and i'm gonna check where what we're looking at in the dictionary for the f entries before i elicit form so let me double check the f um, to see. <laughs> okay. Pia. All right. So we've got pia, pi, fanny, or words. Oh wait, that's an injective f. So we're good there. Um, so pi and pia are the only two uh, words that we have entered so far. So it is pretty much open season. Oh wait, let me check my. No, we don't have any verbs. Okay, so we have pretty open territory here without worry about overlap. For a word for pine cone starting with an F. And so, Noel, no. Oh, Mateus, that would be awful. Mia's trying to, to get some rest and we bring Vincent out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so now I'm ready for F words <laughs> nice. for pinecone. 
Um, boy. Cupcake Parade. I missed what Dark Horse was doing. You're right. I was just looking at the form. I see what you're going for. That does work better. It's still pretty heavy. Um, it would actually be better if you just dropped the J and had the Saret as the form, which would actually be closer anyway to what you're going for if Cupcake Parade is correct. Oops. Dog on it. I can't. Can't tie. Sorry. Oh no, you are fine. I'm trying to find the right point on my bifocal lenses for reading that font over there. Okay, Fika. Good. Excellent, many and Fumi. 183 minus 52 is 131. That was an adjective. Me. No, seventeen seventy five. Thirty five. Yeah. All right, so maybe like one or two more words for our entries here, just so that way we can see how all the modern forms look and. Nineteen fifty six, nineteen twenty five. Nice cupcake grade. This is another nasal situation where I can't see what's on the screen. Fifty four. Neil. Okay. Ooh, that's an interesting form there. Okay, there we go. And I see. Well, dark horse. Just a second. Let me let me do the the screen close to my face thing. That is not possible, dark horse. Um, do you, well. First of all, it needs to be a regular F, not an adjective. Oh, didn't we already have Fumi? Yeah, we totally have Fumi. Um, and so we could have like Fum mas or something like that but the th is actually not a proto form ragdoll did you like fumi or funi better do you want the m or the n there we go got that got that serif okay <sighs> okay funi with an n okay I will change that because that was your suggestion in the first place. So I want you to have what you really wanted. I hope everybody appreciates the lengths I'm going to here. Is anyone even paying attention? To no, you? nobody's paying attention. Is anybody actually, I mean, I'd be interested. Is anybody watching paying attention to what I'm doing? Should I be narrating it? Probably not. So that's O. I don't think there's anything too surprising. I just heard some negative four fourteen. Something's coming through the door. Okay. Yeah. All right. Got some modern forms here. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, this is this is just for Ozadiah. So now we, we've got the correct serif on the bottom of V, and we need it because we're going to make E. So to make E, we're going to drag this down, and we immediately have a problem. <laughs> Minnie wants to know who you are again. Oh, my God. Um, oh, hi, 
Hi, Blower Kids. It's not uh, gonna work. Cupcake Parade says you should narrate every action at all times. It's not gonna work. But Ozidaya uh -oh. is watching you. It's not gonna work. That's how low it needs to be to be in the same position, right? Um, <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Oh, actually, it could be the exact same here. But yeah, you can see it's not gonna work, right? Because that's where it needs to be for that, but it's not an, uh, it's not enough of a V to actually see it. Nope. <laughs> it needs to be down at least that much. Yikes. Which will put it pretty low. As you're worried about that, here yes. are some words that could mean pine cone. Okay. Pika. Fini. Fuatsu. Fuani. Uh, I like uh, Fuatsu and Fuani. Okay. Um, and uh, Pika. Dun, 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 dun. And then after this, I'm going to need you to scroll, but wait till we're done with this poll because I'm entering the not used roots up here, which is pushing, you know, the screen down. Uh -huh. But first, let me get through this poll. Oh, wait. So I'm going to fix this. There is a late entry. Are um, you going to change your mind? Nope. With Faithu? No, I'm not. I saw that. It won't let me zoom in. This, but I will have this that error to the before. List up here. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, I was creating. This it, it did this before where it had this error when it stopped letting me use the shortcut for zooming in, which is really inconvenient. Like the keystroke isn't working. No, all good. It's I I have that for a future form because I thought it sounded cute. Wait, was that? No, that's just a regular U. And the Fuanyu was the other one. Right, now those are the same. It's a little bit fatter. So let's see if we can make that a little bit fatter. All right, poll is up for pinecone. Slowly but surely making our way through this list. What? what? No, I'm going to do one more word and then we will be halfway through the list. Okay. And then I feel like that's time for celebration. Yeah. I know you may not have as much to celebrate, especially now that you know daylight savings would not be a permanent thing, even if it will be permanent until 2023. Yeah. And therefore your day is just hmm. ruined. I hope you're not being sarcastic, Mateus, but I do love polls, too, because, you know, feels like y'all get to decide. I know some people hate polls, though. They're like, ugh, stop asking me things. Um, really? But I feel like these are great ones. Do you mean people in general or people, like, on the stream? In general. Okay. Because, like, you know. Got any poll haters here? But I like them. Ooh, anime fan. Sure thing. And I apologize that my adjective consonants are never as adjective as David's. Um, we have Pika. Uh, Pika. Fatsu. Wait a minute. Is that? That's an adjective. No, but is that In the wrong? In a regular U. It is? Yes, because it was O-U in its proto form. Got it. Fatsu. Fatsu. And Fani. Yes. Okay. All right. 
Ooh, yay. Mateus really does like the pulse. Yes. Um, yeah, Magpie, it does sometimes take a while to update the numbers. Okay. Yeah, I know, Noelle, that is very true. They just don't have to vote if they don't want to be polled. <laughs> that is true. It does make, it does make uh, more interaction, which is always lovely. <laughs> Zachary, you're Sorry, gonna you are pure chaos. <laughs> Click random at times. Oh man alive. <laughs> Tacey, you crack me up. Polling is very similar to being able to talk about yourself. <laughs> when Byron's Ryan, I totally 100% in that person too. I am the adult that still spends hours taking personality tests just for funsies. Even if I don't like take it to like believe the results or whatever, I just like to see what they say about me. Do you think that this line you should be, yeah. Oh, and right by there. the way, I'm ending the poll because we have plenty of votes and we have a winner. Okay where those should be. Okay, now I can look at the screen. Yeah. Oh. That's fine, I think. That looks nice. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna... In our word is what to? That's good, I like that. Um, we don't, we, we keep forgetting, we don't have a lot of words that have ooh as a vowel. But I've discovered that languages that have these sound changes, in particular Greek and French, have tons of words like this that have the OU becoming OU. Um, so we need to have more. Ngram. I think you're at, you've added an extra NEA. Ooh. Oh, Ragdoll, yeah. It is really difficult um, when they're like, give you five options and you're like, well, it depends on what mood I'm in. And, you know. I took yeah, that. to go yeah. so many ways. I took that, I've taken that Myers Brig uh, four different times and got four different results. Um, you know, the INTJ, that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm always I, though. I'm Benny a lot of times. You? Yeah. No, actually, that makes sense. But I'm always I. Um. Ooh, it is. So, it was spelled right. Is that different from an engram? Like, is an engram a different thing and this is just something I haven't heard about? Or is that just how that's pronounced? I don't know how that is pronounced. I've only seen it in writing. And you know how I am with words I've only seen in writing. Uh -huh. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's the one with the nine. Okay, okay. <laughs> Excellent, Dark Horse. All right. Okay. Let's see. So this is at 7.50. Um, I think that the midpoint between this and this is going to need to be between 7.50. So... 166, half of 166 is 83. So 843 plus 83 needs to be at 750. All right, this is very exciting as you're, as you're doing math and whatnot and doing very important things. Um, the only objective word that we have so far is our word for mouse so cheeky so like everything else is on the table 
one syllable, two syllable, etc., etc. For our word for basket. One seventy six to the left. All right. Two hundred and then seventy six is twenty four. I, think I read that correctly. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, I read that correctly. All right, so ejective C is our first consonant, and again, pretty much everything is on the table. Um, so this needs to go over to the right the same amount. And Noelle, I got yours. All right. <laughs> Speaking of that OU, Cupcake Parade has you covered. Ooh, yeah. That's kind of cute. Uh, 491 plus 83 equals... I don't believe so. All right. 750 That's minus good. 574. All right, Dark Horse, just a second. Got cheap 76. Whoops. Ah, one, my two, fingers are on the wrong keys. One, two, one, two, three, four, and put that down. There's a W. Math, people. Math. Okay, so we got enough forms. Perfect. I'm good on forms for the adjective. And. Now I'm going to put them into Lexergy. See where we come out. How are you doing, David? I'm doing all right, but these glyphs are getting really big. So I'm a little worried. Ooh, ooh. By the way, one of these forms is not allowable. Um, who suggested? Got that one, got that one. Cupcake Parade, we can't have both a diphthong and a coda consonant. We can only have one or the other. So would you like to amend what form? Mm, not amend, emend. Would you like to change the form? <laughs> or is it change? Change. Uh, back to see. Zachary says, when your horizontal script goes to vertical because of cursive. Okay, perfect, Cupcake Parade. Fixing that now. All right. Now we have some forms. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to just Baskets are start with this right now. I'm gonna, I've got to do something. Yeah, that unit sprint's way off. shouldn't be possible. All right, David, I'm going to have to ask you a question about a form in a minute, but only when you're ready. Yeah. Uh, like this looks like 750. I think. Um, Ooh. Sender. My stomach says hello. Sender is going to have to be 500. UPM child size. We're going to change this to 2,000. Okay. It's a little bit better. I suppose. Um, mm. 
I, I, I am going to have a quick question for, for people to consider uh, real quick, um, but uh, we can do this first. I have a highlighted word. Yep. That's what it comes out to. Is that right? Do we allow a Q? G. Yeah. T. With a Y. Yeah. E? Re remember, um, we. Um, I, I hate to move you. Uh, I, we'll just keep your cursor there. We'll come back. But if we go to the sound changes, where we have the VB things, where are they? There they are. <laughs> Sorry. When we get to Rose, Cupcake Parade is suggesting a form reminiscent of uh, his ex-wife's name because she hated them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, sorry. So if you remember, the IV forms became, you know, ye, yo, and ya, and it became ye. Okay. Because at the time where it was, where that sound change happened, where ye goes to je in front of front vowels, this was a back vowel. So paradoxically, we allow ye. Okay, so at the, at no point though after this do we drop the ye after a palatal consonant? Oh, I don't know. I think that only happened after nasals. Oh, okay. Let's let's take a look. Um, glides are deleted after nasals and approximants. That's it. Okay. We didn't say um, palatal simplification. <gasps> oh. Because that uh -oh. should be. Uh oh. Plus palatal, right? Is Graham here? That is right. So it should absolutely. just be chiny. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Um, can we, uh, here, I'm going to go back to your cursor here, but then I'm going to um, go over to Lexergy. Let's put in this word. What is it? Oh, protoform? it's protoform was ejective C and then I, U, N, U. Okay. Um, Oh, many. Hmm. Yeah, it's fun to put names in there. Uh, trace the evolution of G. Uh-huh. Uh, well, let's find the, the rule, uh, the palatal deletion rule. Glide decimation. I don't see it. Uh, palatal simplification. Let's, it let's see later? what we, what did we call it? What was the rule called? Oh, just one second. Palatal yeah, palatal simplification. simplification. And it should be after glide decimation and fronting. It's here, but the only items are je and ya, and that shouldn't Ooh. be the case. That shouldn't be the case. Uh, is Graham here? If not, uh, we're going to need to send him a message on, um, on Discord or something, because, yeah, there are more palatals. Uh, I'm not sure if we'd ever end up in a situation where we had sh coming before it. Um... But, but yeah, certainly those two, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that explains that. Um, anyway, I don't think that was on screen because of how we're, we're doing it. But, okay, uh, I do have a quick question uh, for everybody. And Magpie, that, that cracks me up. David can ask his question. I'll allow it. Thank you. Um, so, um, oh my gosh, it's, I'm going to have to do this, unless there's, is there a thing where I can increase the font size or, is the... there we go. Okay. So, uh, in order that you could actually see the V, I had to drop the, um, this thing. Now, where the line, the next line would go wouldn't change for either of these, but now the uh, serif for this guy 
is lower than the serif for all these. Should I drop these serifs to be in line with this or should I leave it as is? It's not going to change where the line goes. Oh, do you want me to do a poll? Sure, yeah. Ooh! I should probably uh, should we let people drop see it. The lines lower so the serif is at the same. Negative 593. Um, did you call that depth or height? Depth. Depth as the serif on the V shape. So then, um, let's do that. I'll put them on either side of the thing. So basically, we like the original or the extra crispy. All right. So, it is now up. Thank you. Uh, uh, no, there won't always be a line below. So you will actually see these forms. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> also, do you like the way I worded that? Mm, yeah. Matchy, matchy. That's 16 votes and 20 some viewers. Now, is this jiving with your new opinion? My new opinion, or, it was just your that first, your, your I hadn't now. seen the the line dropping until I looked up, right. and I I want them to be different because I think those look better than those. All right. Even though it's like at a different like I get it, but it's just a little descender that you know. Yeah. I'm cool with that. So I get that, but what does Pitleridian think? That's a good question. Yeah. But I like the way these are looking. I just wish uh, as we made these a little shorter. As you decide whether we'll leave that pull up something. longer. Here are our entries for basket. Uh-huh. Chanya. Okay. Chuta. Chila. Chini. Chiba. Cha. Okay, um, Tanya, definitely, uh -huh. first one. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Wait. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, Chuta here, and then we also have Chita. No, uh, Chuta. Okay. And then, um, and then, um, Cha. Excellent. Excellent choices, David. Okay. Wait. We're at 50-50? 50-50. Oh, oh my goodness. Good my heart motive. can't take this. Whew. As an applicative, a, a applicative, I can speak comparative. I, I was, you know, matchy um, matchy. No, that's just an adjective. You know, Minnie's talking about how she was dumped on the podcast from that, that evil, evil person. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm. Mm. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh. There we go. Tie is broken. I think we still have one more vote, but it's hard to tell. It really is hard to tell. Like, where's the thing where you actually see how many people are in there? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? 
thought it was over. Yeah, there's one more vote out there, and this person has the power to tie it or make it a two-vote landslide. I don't think I've ever used the phrase beyond the pale. What, are you serious? I say that all the time. I don't think I've ever used it. Are you familiar with it? Like, I get the gist of it, but, like, I don't know that I have a very firm definition other than, like, that's, like, way, way out of line or over the line or, like, whoosh, shouldn't do that. Um, oh, my gosh. <gasps> I should not have let people keep voting. <laughs> <laughs> I should have cut it off when my, <laughs> when my option was the winner. Ooh. Uh, I, I actually say beyond the pale all the time, and so I'm surprised you haven't heard me use it. It's not that I haven't necessarily heard you use it, it's that I don't use it. Oh. And so, like, again, I oh. get, like, the gist, I just don't, like, well, really have a firm grasp. But why, why would you just get the gist of it now? It should be familiar to you if... We can stop now. I... Oh my goodness! <sighs> We can stop now. I, I, I don't, my heart can't take anymore. All right. Make them matchy matchy. All right. All right. Um, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I believe it's pronounced gist. Isn't that right? It's pronounced gist. Doesn't jive with me. <laughs> um, it, it, it stands, of course, for. Um, uh, giving it some uh... the etymology of gist is that it was a third person singular present tense of gesir to lie in old French oh. from Latin uh, so it should be gist and so the legal phrase Say action gist, the action lies, denoted that there were sufficient grounds to proceed, and gist was adopted into English, denoting the grounds themselves. Right. Matcha, matcha. Yes. Okay. I am typing the next poll as we speak. Okay. We have um, some good things. Coming for basket. And All right. We need a word for basket. Here are the top three forms as voted by David. He had some good votes, though. Ooh. <gasps> Minnie says... The episode description was literally, she's not going to like this one. Yikes. People. How can people be so mean? Whew. Pay attention to my poll. really have this headache right there. It's right there. Oh boy. Does it feel like ice? No, oh, more like a little stabby. Okay. All right. Oh, we have plenty of boats. So our new word 
for basket, which by the way, definitely keeping these other forms because I love them. But we now have tuta, tuta. Just spit while I say it, get my adjectives on. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I just you did that. ruined everything. So now we have to ask ourselves something about this word. This glyph for grass. Ooh, because we need the little sidey noties. Yeah, and the question is going to be do we still like it? And by the way, we're taking a break before we get any suggestions for Rose other than what Cupcake Parade has already provided. Um, and no magpie, you didn't. We're going to, in fact, enjoy a Copico as soon as David... Right, we better figures, since the episode is almost over. ...figures out something. Woo! Boy, oh boy. Okay, let's go for it. Right now with the Kobe Co, or do you want to figure this out first? Um, I mean, yeah, because I don't think I can. Okay. You've done a lot of good work today. You deserve this. Right. Okay, I hope you, I have. you've done some work today. Done you some deserve work. this. <laughs> cheers to letting go of terrible people. Yeah, cheers. Mm. All right. Mmm. Kobe Co, the taste of moving on. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So, um, I'm going to pull this up. So, this is the glyph for grass right here. And so, you can see what we started with, which was something very similar to Angala, right? And then the result was the big V and the two little things on the side. So now the question is, whoops, um, do we still like that? Um, like I can mess with this a little so that these things come up a little bit higher. I don't want them to come up too high. You don't want to get too close. Whoops. <sighs> Like, that's, that's part of the problem. It, like, the higher they get, the closer they get, which means the further out they need to be pushed. And it's hard to tell if there's going to be a sweet spot. Um, two, three, four, five. Oh, Dark Horse, it's the taste of moving on. <laughs> five. Um, In the dark blue shirt. Was that dark blue? What? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Mm. Mm, good to have you here, Donwell. Well, oh, it's always nice to see you. Um, and we will miss you. I'm gonna, um, like, I don't know. Silvertail is asking if you can flip. Um, uh, I certainly can, but that wasn't what we have. Like, that's not what we planned for in the glyph. So, yes, yeah, State Grammar Noel. Um, oh, and Ragdoll, that is horrible. Ragdoll's getting prank calls from Awful X. Oh, jeez. Right? Ugh. Oh, here is this. Right? Mm. That is so sad. So, um, bear in mind that we will round these so that they look just like those but in general knowing um knowing where the uh, glyph came from and looking at what you see here do you think it's worth pursuing to have the extra lines or do you think we should get rid of them oh son of a gun you know what i should oh brother 
I should put it on this other one because then you'd see how they line up with those. You really should. Yeah. Um, Way to go, David. I know how to do this. Um, oh. We should eventually. Interesting. We should eventually also talk about, you know, a poll. Um. Okay, so and the color of my shirt is dark green. I mean, it's supposed to be. It looks very dark green on like. Uh, but anyway, do you like this? And uh, maybe for the polls, we could do uh, the form of numbers. Mm. Okay. I mean, got to do that eventually. Okay, so is the question: Do we want to keep the little lines? Yeah. Do you want me to poll? Yeah. So uh, lines up top or no. There's an example of it without. Oh, darn it. Got to do the Kirby's here, too. And this is the only V, right? So, like, this wouldn't get confused with anything else? No. Okay. Um, there, is a, there is a one for rabbit. Rabbit just has a crossbar right here. Yeah, by the way, in real life, and I, that's really interesting to me that it's reading as teal, and it may be because I'm wearing black and we have a bright blue couch behind us, mm. um, but in real life it, it reads as a very dark green, like a forest green, really. Yeah, it's not even close. With a hole right here where David ripped the tag out. No. <laughs> We're going to save the other five words that we need for the next live stream. Mm -hmm. um, and so there'll be a lot of polls again next week as we decide on those. But regardless, I now have some more words I can use in my drawings. And that makes me really happy. I can talk about grass. I can you know, have a basket. I can have a basket in the grass. Mm -hmm. Oh, Schneike. What? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we got two more votes uh, outstanding. I'd love to hear from you. Um, no, actually, it says concurrent viewers 21 mm. and 23 votes. No, oh, I know. God, it's all over the place. My goodness. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, I guess that's it. Woo! That was... Oh, and it just went up again. Really? Yeah, you're going to see in the results. Just a second. I ended it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Went up to okay. Before. All right. Well, I'm going to have to do some... Um, rounding for this. Is there a fast way to do that? Let me try this. Can you copy like the rounding from, yeah, one of the bottom ones? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh! And then just scooch it, right? Yeah. Right, actually, um, let me do this. We don't need this. And then, um, there we go. Grab those two. And let's see, that's at um, 20, 125. All right, and that one is at one, two, and then. So 
one, two, and then one, two, and then minus one, two. So that would be Oh my goodness. One, two, one, two, minus one, two. And we need to bring these down to, is that 425? Oh, oh, you did it so fast that I didn't see. Those are tiny numbers. Oh yeah, 425. Yeah, 425. There we go. They're very cute. Yeah, little mushrooms. Mushroom, surprised we didn't use that. It's flip inspiration. Oh. Oh. I'm yeah. off by how many? 150? No, uh, hold on. 1375, 1275, I'm off by 100. 100 yeah. would have been cute. Especially given my, you know, like all my, my kitchen stuff that's yeah. all fresh for me. All right. Does that come Copy. over that? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's see what this looks like. It's always really like nice when you're able to then just like add these. Yep. All right. There they are. Go ahead. Look and how cute they are. Go ahead and pull them up for you. Uh. <laughs> A little, a little space in between. There we go. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah, that's a good choice. And I actually like that they're offset. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Especially when you get down to these. I just, I love how they look. Yeah, I was really ready to ax it because I, in general, I'm in favor of simplicity, but I think this is a good choice, so well done. I agree. Oh, your name is Mushroom in China? Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh wait, I remember. Gosh, Minnie, I'm sorry. I, I should remember my shit vocabulary. Mm. Oh, and by the way, I know I emailed you about this, but for everybody else, there's going to be a Shenya document coming up on Fiat Lingua soonish. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of documents to get through, but it's coming. Yay! Um, and then uh, I just want to make sure. Okay. Interesting. So here, we just have it go straight in. We don't curve it. But here, we do curve it on both sides. We do curve it on both sides. So um, these need to be uh, curved on both sides. That's not in the middle. Yeah, that's going to be really boring. Um, so I'm probably uh, going to start it here and continue it after um the uh after the stream is done so when you come back these and these and these will all be properly attached uh so you're not missing much you're just missing some tedious you know curving oh 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 interesting note interesting note we curve this we didn't curve this because you didn't like it remember Vaguely. They should be the same. Yeah, they should be. Uh, dang. Okay. Well, there's some curving things that are going to have to be decided slash fixed. Um, yeah. I do want to say before it officially ends, we have a lane time, a patron live stream. Oh. On the 26th, which is not this Saturday. Not this weekend, but next but week. But the next one. And so I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, because if you recall, some of you may have been like, but we already had one in March. Yes, we did. And that's because February was so doggone short, 
uh, that we couldn't fit it in in February. Yeah. So the one on March 5th was really February's. Um, and so March's patron live stream is coming up on the 26th. So mark your calendars if you're a patron and um, yeah, that'll be exciting. Yeah, by the way, you can also watch it. I mean, we'll, we would make it work, I have to figure it out. But you could also watch it if you were a member on our YouTube channel, if you wanted to do that. But uh, no, no big deal if not, mm -hmm. just in case you didn't want to do a uh, Patreon. Right. Um, anyway, um, and, uh, and yeah, by the way, accidentally coming up with Austronesian alignment is really the only way to do it. So good on you, Logan. Um, by the way, Logan, I saw your, um, I saw your Conling Lister post today. Um, once you get that document into uh, a stable state, Absolutely love to put that on Fiat Lingua. Love, love putting up uh, Conling grammars so that, I mean, even if they change later, they're in some state and they're up there and people can look at it and draw inspiration from them. I think it's a really good idea. So when you get that a bit more stable, uh, send it my way. I'd love to put it up. All right. Definitely. And many is probably something silly like, I don't know, expiration date changed or something. Goodness only knows. But yes, we would love to have you back. All right, well, we hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week and a happy rest of your St. Patrick's Day um, and all that good stuff. And we will see you next Thursday. Stay grammar. Bye, everybody.